Hey guys, welcome back to the stream. This is Connor from Future Analytica, giving you guys another live look into how I trade. We're going to be starting off the day with regression mode with arming it in both directions there. See, this is the correct decision just because of these large amount of adjacent bars along with the delta divergence at 803. We also have this nice area right here at eight o'clock, which is the zone that we're going to be trading off of. That is an automatically marked derived zone by the Analytica chart four plus. And we're going to see if we can keep it within this range. If it's within that range, then we are going to be in right regression mode. Walker Everett U Hughes asked, is it best to choose relatively uncorrelated slash orthogonal indicators when training a new ML model to not bias the model towards a specific type of indicator? I do not want to have a lot of oscillators when training. Would you want to use a mix of oscillators and trend indicators? Absolutely. So using uncorrelated indicators is especially important when you're training a model. You obviously don't want to have correlated indicators like you were saying. That's an excellent observation because of course those things are going to contradict each other or they're going to provide biased information when they're only looking at one single data point so see here we're going to be watching price at this level see if it's going to break out of this zone trying to set up polarity v6 i highly suggest checking out the installation tutorial for nq especially if you're trying to trade a similar instrument to me or a similar way to me you do need to import both the analytica chart 4 plus and ati v6 so the analytica chart 4 plus is this visual chart right here it has these derived zones and the polarity ATI is the automated trading system, which puts you into trades like it just did. We just got filled short here. Very, very clean regression trade there. So we'll see how this goes. Unfortunately, that is going to be our first loss of the day. We are going to be switching it right into trend mode there. And we got filled immediately into long. That was because of that breakout. Almost got filled there. See if we can eat this one out. There we go up to 527.22 on the day. We now got the formation of a new derived zone. We're gonna be observing that. I'm pretty much going to completely cancel out this area down here. Remember guys, if you are getting a bunch of single level absorption levels here and it's making your chart messy, you're gonna to wanna to uncheck the show absorptions for derived zones box in your analog chart four plus setting. That's just the setting I don't use and I observe absorption in a different way. End up just getting filled short there. Hopefully this zone does not cause us too many issues. You are getting the import failed because the archive might contain duplicate method names that already exist on this PC. Make sure you don't already have a copy of Polarity or Polarity ML installed on your computer. You can do that by going to Tools and then clicking on Remove Assembly, and you're gonna to wanna to remove anything you've installed from us and reinstall the whole thing in one batch. End up getting filled there very, very quickly. We got a short trade, won that one. See here we have a Delta Divergence at 810. So we are going to be switching into regression mode. We also had one at 808 and at 809. I'm a little behind the curve here, guys. Apologize. Is there a way to reverse the trade when you get to the stop? Yes, there absolutely is. You can do that in your ATM strategy settings. You can just click reverse at stop. There we got stop down. So we are going to be switching into trend, just confirming that we've broken out of this zone here. We've got that momentum along with that us getting stopped out above that line, which is going to confirm that we would get that entry. When I add indicators to train the model, is there any specific order this should be done? What is the best way to do this? The order doesn't matter as long as you do it before training the model. So you can add them in any order you wish and then uh, click train once you're done. My imbalance is set to diagonal in AC4 plus but horizontal in polarity. See here, we may be getting some shock, but this bar will make or break that. Just got filled, ended up winning that trade pretty quickly there. The long trade in Trenma. Are you using a funded trader account? Also, do you subscribe to Kinetic Data in Ninja and using it? So I am using Kinetic Data along with other aggregated data providers. Just have Kinetic to multiple at the same time. And I'm not using a funded trader account, I am using a personal account. I just got filled short here, ended up winning that one. Yeah, this is a very obvious regression switch here. We're at a very strong support level and a resistance level. We're just gonna go back and see when this actually was. This was quite a while ago, but you can see it's been confirmed multiple times. So we are gonna consider this in our trading. We also have this delta divergence at 816. I think this is a pretty clear reason to switch to regression. You cannot auto trade using the trial download. You do need polarity for that. I believe you're referring to the analytic chart for plus trial. We do have a discount code. It's going to be NY24 for 24% off. You train the models in the morning before auto trading. Uh, no, I don't. I did one training session. And then since then I've used incremental learning, which is just going to continuously learn based off of your trades and just traded like normal. So uh, I only had to do that once. And we ended up winning that one up to 4,000 on the day now. But no, it is not ill-advised to have both your indicator and strategies to both calculate and balance horizontal or diagonal. I do suggest having polarity do horizontal on NQ specifically, but AC4 plus does not matter. 
it is possible to configure polarity so it enters trades on a divergence bar. Currently, we actually only have the capability to configure polarity to not enter on a divergence bar for it to only enter when there is convergence between delta and price. But that's definitely something we can add in the future because programming is already there. The option I am referring to is the enter only on congruent delta. I guess that would be called incongruent delta if we were to add what you're requesting. But that's an interesting strategy. I'm curious if you've had a good experience with that. Evan says, ending a killer day here with zero losses today. I haven't had any issues training a good NQ model, but on ES, I struggle to get even below 100 RSME and above 0.35 R squared. Any experience or tips on this? Increasing the number of days did not seem to reduce RS or RMSE like it did on NQ. Um, you can see that we ended up winning that trade up to 5,044 on the day now, right at our profit target there. So I'm probably going to be calling it there, but I do appreciate you guys tuning in for, for me today. Thanks guys so much for your support. It really is appreciated. Thank you guys for testing the beta machine learning module. I know it's been a little bit rough for some people in terms of getting it to work correctly, but I know some of you have done very well with it and have um, found it very, very useful. Of course, we're always trying to improve this and trying to make an edge for you guys that I was able to be easier and easier accessible by a larger and larger group of people. So yeah, thank you guys for tuning in and I appreciate your support.